especially when we start looking at the Google Platter. It's going to be really difficult to get in that position uh, when they've got good posture. So when we start breaking it, all the posture and, and control using the, uh, the, the Valetudo guard, it's going to keep his head in an accessible place, especially if you're not as flexible. This foot stays on the hip as well, okay, because this is what's stopping him from driving in. So if he tries to drive into me, I can use that foot to kind of stop. Okay, so if his head is kind of looking up or it's in this position, this is where I'm going to be able to switch and go into the go-go plat. As soon as I get to here as well, both hands on the head. Okay, one hand usually isn't enough. So there, toes point up, hit the go-go plat. If his head's down, because he knows I'm trying to get the go-go plat, this is where we switch. Okay, so this is where we're going to switch to our Oma platter. I, I know weird names and stuff, but they will eventually make, make sense. So I'll go for the go-go platter, his head's not in the position because he's keeping his head down. We go back to the drill that we were just doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go top and tail. Okay, so this is what James just sort of saying. It's a really good analogy. Yeah, where he says facing one side, my head's on the other. Once we get into this position, yeah, similar to the, the um, when, when we're working the uh, diamond position, this leg needs help. Okay, because if not, Jay can posture up and then start using that that kind of power to lift up. So from here, I'm gonna extend the leg, but then this outside leg goes over the top, okay? And then from this position, I'm gonna drive my feet forward and down. And try and sit up, okay? So, from a Valetudo guard, feet over, he blocks. Turn into here, leg out, okay? And, and the top leg is always protected with the other leg. Once we get into this position, we'll look at what we do next. But don't, don't worry about it just yet, just get into this position, okay? Uh, we call this Jiu core, as in Jiu Jitsu core, okay? Give it a go. One, two, three, okay. position really good. Um, just the last bit is the, the actual finish, all kind of getting into the finishing position. So I think everyone's pretty comfortable here now. Yeah, getting into the position, even if he kind of drives his head down, you know, really sticks it down. There's always that opportunity to feed through. I just need to bring this back leg, uh, sorry, this bottom leg through. Yeah, my head goes towards his toes. As soon as we get into this position, yeah, this leg needs help. So the outside leg comes across and then I straighten the leg. Okay, so Jay's still upright at this point. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my foot across. Okay, and this is where you flatten the first out. Okay. Into the, into the, into the. Yeah, so I might go straight to the position and decide uh, all my pl uh, go -go platters are not for me. Okay, so same thing, but this leg has to kick out straight and it's this hip away that's going to help flatten them out. Okay, as soon as we flatten them out though, we put some weight over the top. Because what Jay can do if he gets back up to his knees, he can do a forward roll. Uh, so there's still things I can do from here, but we're now in a scramble as opposed to having good control. Can he reverse? Ah, oh, get that! Oh, <laughs> he needs to flatten it out, doesn't he? So come across, flatten him out. Once we're in this position, our feet go to here. Okay? So if I keep this leg in front, it stops me from coming up. And what this is, is a shoulder attack. So my hips coming forward, yeah? And that's what's gonna put pressure on his shoulder. So I'm gonna clear a bit of the gap, come to here, and I'm gonna lift my hip up, hip up slowly. Yep, not, okay, just nice and gentle. Okay, and that's the finish. Does that make sense? Yeah. Give it a go, one, two, three.